A few months ago, I was in the market for a secondary laptop that I could use in case my primary laptop was damaged or I did not have access to it. I was searching for something that was somewhat powerful but also affordable, so I knew that I would have to look at used laptops. After searching for some time, I picked up a used Dell Precision M4800 workstation from 2013 for $299 on eBay. When the computer arrived and I eventually tried to play some games on it, I was surprised at the performance I was getting in some games, and it left me wondering, are old workstations a good choice for PC gaming on a budget? At first look, the Dell Precision M4800 looks like your standard bulky business laptop. However, that assumption is very far from the truth. Measuring at around 15.75 by 10 inches and weighing in around 6.5 pounds, the Precision certainly isn't a thin and light laptop, but for the price I paid it has extremely impressive specifications. The laptop sports a Haswell-based Core i7 4810MQ that clocks in at 2.8GHz and clocks up to 3.6GHz on all four cores and up to 3.8GHz on one core. The Precision also came with 12GB of DDDR3 low voltage RAM, a 256GB SSD alongside a 1TB hard drive, a 1920x1080-60Hz display, and an AMD Fire Pro M5100 graphics card. The Precision also has a vast array of I.O. ports, including three USB 3.0 ports, one USB 2.0 and eSATA port, a display, VGA, and HDMI port, headphone and microphone jacks, an SD card slot, express and smart card slots, and a DVD RW drive. The bottom of the Precision also has a docking port that can be used for external docking stations which are still sold on the Dell website. The Precision's chassis consists of both aluminum and magnesium alloy, and the unit shows very little wear and tear from use by both the laptop's former owner and myself. The Precision has a full-size keyboard and number pad with three levels of backlight, those being dim, bright, and off. For a laptop keyboard, the keys travel quite far and have a nice feel. The touchpad, however, is quite small and can sometimes be difficult to use for extended periods of time, especially when the Precision is on a desk. However, this issue can be avoided by simply using a mouse. In regards to how the Precision performed in games, I was determined to find out if this workstation from 2013 could serve as a gaming laptop despite being several years old and being originally meant for workstation use. The AMD Fire Pro 5100 in the Precision is comparable to the NVIDIA GTX 650 and is also around 25-30% to 30 more powerful than modern integrated Intel UHD 630 graphics found in desktop CPUs. So on paper, the GPU should be capable of playing many popular games even if it means turning down graphical settings and expecting somewhat lower frame rates. The relatively unknown Core i7-4810MQ found on the Precision is very comparable with the KB Lake i7-7700HQ, meaning that the CPU will most likely not even perform to its maximum t potential during gameplay due to the fact that it is paired with a GPU that is nearly 6 years old and is only 30% better than modern integrated graphics.
After running the benchmarks, the AMB Fire Pro M5100 proved to be a bigger bottleneck than I initially expected it to be. Although some relatively demanding games like Doom and Grand Theft Auto V could run well with high settings, other less demanding games such as Fallout 4 and Minecraft struggled and had trouble maintaining higher frame rates during moments of in gameplay, even at lower settings and resolution. This outcome is likely due to the fact that some games are better optimized to run on workstation graphics cards, while other games have trouble running on graphics cards that are not meant for gaming. Although some of the games I tested had performed poorly or not as well as I anticipated, the overall performance for the $300 that I paid was much better than I had initially expected. However, this cheap performance does not come without any caveats, as the cooling fan often roars loudly during gameplay, and the weight and thickness of the precision can make carrying it around difficult and impractical. But, if you're the type of person who's mostly going to use a laptop as a desktop replacement machine and aren't going to move it around very often, the Dell Precision M4800 and other used mobile workstations like it at the same $300 price point are a great value if you're looking for a laptop that you can play some games on without breaking the bank.